his back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint and a chance at a jackpot of six thousand dollars today on scrabble an eight letter word the clue is ghostbusters it's the crossword game you've played all your life but never quite like this and here's your host Chuck Woolery. Thank you, Charlie Tuna. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everybody's favorite game. Home view award was sent in by Blue Hamilton from Red Bluff, California, getting all the basic colors covered today. Today in the jackpot, uh, we're going to have a bonus sprint worth $6,000. Today's winner is going to get a chance at that jackpot, so stay tuned for that. And I'll get my mouth fixed, and Charlie will introduce our first two players. Charlie? She's a student. He's our champion. From Hamilton, Ohio, Michelle Marjoram. And from Los Osos, California, Chuck Willis. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you. Tell me about stuff. Well, I'm a student at Miami University of Oxford, which is in Ohio. Ohio, sure. I know and that school. on the side, I work at the front desk of a hotel. Uh-huh. There's got to be more. Come on, Michelle. There's more. I'm on vacation, and I'd love to go to Mexico, <laughs> so ooh, this will kind of help me out if I do. Well, good luck today. <laughs> uh-huh. Thanks. Right. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Welcome back. Chuck, uh, how much money do you have now? 500? 500. About 500. What are you going to do today? Make a little more? I hope so, thoroughly. <laughs> it's nice to have you back with us today, Chuck. Now, that makes Michelle the uh, challenger, since you're the champ, and you're going to go first, Michelle. Hi. Let's go to the board. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets uh, three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They'll have a chance at that bonus that stands now at $6,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. We're building on the letter O, Michelle. Nine letters in the word, and the clue is some guys are happy with small ones. Now, when you think another word, hit your buzzer, and don't forget to think of blue bonus square, because they're worth money. I'm not going to get into this. But. Okay, I'll start with the eight and the nine. Okay, you got a V and a G there. The G? No, nope, that's a stopper. Well, they stand you in good stead. Let's see. Chuck, some guys are happy with small ones. I'll take the six. V and an R. Give me the V. First position in the word was $500. Some guys are happy with small ones. I'll have to go with the R, Chuck. Okay. <laughs> Nothing? I'll take the 7 and the 10. Have an I. And a T. And the T. <laughs> Some guys are happy with small ones. Victory? Victory, that's got it, yeah. Well, he just hung in there long enough to get you, Michelle. Let's try one more time, building on the letter O in victory, six letters in the word, and the clue is, she wasn't suited for her most famous role. She wasn't suited for her most famous role. That's right. So the eight and the two. Have a K and an N. The N, please. Well, you just have no luck at all. You got a good attitude, though. <laughs> Chuck? And the one, please. K and a D. Give me the D. She wasn't suited for her most famous role. And the K? Well, Michelle, you went to so far as to pick two stoppers, so it came back to you. You're in good shape now. Only one stopper left. Okay, the seven and the six. Have a V and an I. The V? She wasn't suited for her most famous role. Oh, I think I know it, please. Okay, I'll take the I. Only one stopper, uh, or Let's one stopper left. Let's go for that right? money. Take the five and the three. A and a D. Okay, take that I A. She wasn't suited for her most Kedina. famous role. Who? Godiva. Dragon Lady, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, All right. One, two, three, four, Ooh. five hundred. Almost give you six. There you go. <laughs> Okie dokie, it's all tied up, Chuck. Back to the board, building on the letter A in Godiva, nine letters in the word, and the clue is, sometimes it ends up all over the place. Sometimes it ends up all over I'll the place. I'll give you 500 if you can tell me what it is right now. Sometimes it ends up all over the place, is the clue. I'll have to try the five. Okay. And the six. W and an A. W, please. First position in the word, sometimes it ends up all over the place. And the A. Chuck, I'll give you $1,000 if you can tell me what it is right now. Sometimes it ends up all over the place. Haven't the faintest. No. Oh, too bad. 
Okay, go ahead. Seven. And the one, please. Got a P and an E. The E? Sometimes it ends up all over the place. And the P. No. I'm going to have to go for the two and the eight. R and an N. R. Sometimes it ends up all over the place. Wallpaper. Wallpaper. Boy, you got it with that one staring at you. You almost gave it up, Michelle. Finally hit one. That's the bell. That means we're out of time. We're going to play the rest of this in speed word. Put your hands on your buzzers. Uh, we'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. That's up to you all. Okay? Good luck. Michelle's trying to tie it up. Chuck's going for the game again. Building on the letter A in wallpaper. There are six letters in this word. The clue is you'll find them inside temples. Ready? Go. Michelle? Brains. Brains. Exactly right. Go. That's very nicely done. Very nicely done. It's all tied up anybody's game. Building on the letter N in brains. Seven letters in the word. And the clue was, or the clue is, and probably was and will be, he has a way with women. He has a way with women. Ready? Go. He has a way with women. Chuck. Donahue. You've got it. Boy, he did it. I'm telling you, he's quick up there. He's quick on the crossword. Got some great prizes for you, Michelle. Although you didn't win today, you won $500. That's not too shabby. Got some books on tape, including some other great gifts, okay? It's nice meeting you. It's nice meeting Thanks. you. Thanks. Good luck to you. Come on down, uh, Chuck. Chuck's got uh, another $500. He's up to, what, $3,000 now? He had more than you thought you did. He had $25,000 from yesterday. $3,000. We'll be back to see if he can win another $1,000 right after this. Stay with Come on, Chuck. Back here, three thousand dollars. He's done it again. It seems we've stood and talked like this before. I like to hear you sing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be this to me, Chuck. You're uh, going to establish a time now. All right. All right. And uh, what, were they, what else was I going to say? Somebody else is going to try and come up here and try to beat that time. We don't know who that's going to be yet, Chuck. But they'll find out next crossword. Okay. Uh, give you the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No stoppers in these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Here we go. First word, five letters. A baby doctor. A baby doctor. Ready? Ready. Go. S. E. Baby doctor. U. Two. Yep, I got it. Second word, seven letters. Copperhead. Copperhead. Ready? Ready. Go. Pennies. You got it. That's the way to play, Chuck. Third word, eight letters. Eight letters. It can mean trouble. It can mean trouble. Ready? Ready. Go. T. L. M. It can mean trouble. Calamity. That's the way to do it. You just relax and cook it now, aren't you? Not yet. <laughs> All right, one more. Nine letters. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Ready? Ready. Go. Tell me. Uh, no. Ah, uh, you got a little ahead of yourself there, Chuck. You just tried let's to reach out. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's wait and get a few letters up there. Cost you 10 seconds. 23.6 is where you are. You're not in bad shape. All right. Be a little patient now. Nine letters. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Ready? Ready. Go. Tell me. Home alone. Uh, well, we only go to 100, so... <laughs> Try it one more time. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Ready? Ready. Go. R. B. S. Bankers sometimes approve e. of them. R. O. W. Borrowers. Yeah, see, that got it. You just had to put a few letters up there to find out where you were. <laughs> well, you, you picked stuff all the way up to 45.6. Boy, you had a great time going. See, you were you 12, 12 and change, I think, of the first three. 
Never know what might happen, though. We found that out the last time. So let's uh, come back, find a challenger for him. Oh, that last one killed you. You got 20, what did you get, 20 seconds? No, that was more than two minutes. Well, we're back. Chuck Willis is our champion. He's been our champion for the last two days, as a matter of fact. And he's going to be one of these two players right here, Charlie. She's an administrative VP. He's a corporate spokesman. From Brink, New Jersey, Harriet Bushkin. And originally from Atlanta, Georgia, David Willis. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Harriet? Hi, Chuck. How are you? Fine. Tell me about yourself. Yes. Well, I have four beautiful grandchildren, all look like Grandma. Oh. And I made my singing debut at Carnegie Hall when I was 16 years old. Did you really? What, would you, yes, what did I you did. do? What was the case? I sang the bell song from Lockney. I'll be darned. Well, it's nice to have you here, Eric. Thank you. Good nice to be you. here. Thanks. Hi, David. Hi. How you doing, Chuck? Fine. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm married to a lovely wife, Lee, and we have four children, Kim, Alicia, Tiffany, and Ryan. Good. That's it, huh, David? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning and the end. <laughs> well, maybe if you win, quite a longer middle. Listen, uh, welcome to both of you. Who won the Thank toss backstage? I did. All right, let's go to the board. Good luck. Uh, Thank you. Building on the letter E, nine letters in the word. The clue is you can see a lot of them on Hollywood Boulevard. So you've been on Hollywood Boulevard. You can see a lot of them on Hollywood Boulevard. I'll take a five and a nine. M and an S. Place the M. Nope, stop it right off the top, David. Okay, let's uh, put a four up there. D and an S. Put the D. You can see a lot of them on Hollywood Boulevard. And the S. Hmm. Okay, how about the one? And a three. N or a U. The N. Stop her over to you. Har Harriet's just laughing over there. She's just having a great I think I know it, Chuck, but I'm going to try for the money. Oh. I'll take a six. Okay. A and a U. And I'll take that A. $500. Address is what you can find out of them. How do you I hit for you. Yeah. You got it. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Yeah. I never would have thought of addresses, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Building on the letter E in address is six letters in the word, and the clue is some women won't even take it off for their husband. David? Okay. Some women won't even take it off for their husband. All right, let's try the one and the seven. H and a T. The T. And the H. David, I'll give you $1,000. You'll tie up the game if you can tell me what this is. Some women won't even take it off for their husband. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, too bad. The two. And a five. And a G. The G. Some women won't even take it off for their husband. Ah, okay. Wait. Yep, that's it. Boy, it's a little too late, unfortunately. Missed all that money. Here we go, Harriet. Building on the letter T in weight, eight letters in this word, and the clue is it can be a stroke of genius. Okay, I'll take a three and a nine. It can be a stroke of genius with an N I'll or I'll take I. the N. And I'll place the I. No idea. I'll take the six and the five. L and an R. Place that L. Nope, that's a stop. It's over to you. David's shaking his head. It can be a stroke of genius. Till still two stoppers out, David. Easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't that easy for you to say. I think I, I know what it is. Uh, let's see if we can't get some money up there. Uh, well, Harry's about... got it already, so you don't want to pass it to her. Here we go. How about the one? A and an R. The A. $500. It can be a stroke of genius. Painting. Painting, that's right. Yeah. You got it about the same time. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, that uh, means time's up. We're going to play seed words for the rest of this round. Hands on your buzzers. Put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. That's up to you all. Uh, David, you have two. Harriet's got one, so David's going for the game. Harriet's trying to tie it up. Here we go. Building on the letter A in painting. Five letters in this word. The clue is most people like it on top. Okay. <laughs> Ready? No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
See, I knew you keep this up. Somebody's going to get you. <laughs> David just did. All right, so we don't forget. Most people like it on top as if we would. Ready? Go. Most people like it on top. Harriet? Gravy. That's two. It's all tied up. Anybody's game. Building on the letter Y in gravy, seven letters in the word, and the clue is... The clue is... And the clue is... An urgent message. Ready? Go. Pr prayer. Prayer. No, that can be urgent, but yeah. that's not it. And you're out of speed word, Harriet. I'm sorry. David, okay. you want to continue this or answer? Uh, now, I, to continue it, I can let the letters... Yes, you may. Please continue. An urgent message. Ready? Go. An urgent message. Giddy up. That's exactly right. Yeah. That was a tough one, too. That was a tough one. Nice parting gift, Harry, to you. That was a hard puzzle, too. Books on tape. Great. And you have your $500. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. We enjoyed it. Thank you. Come on down, Dave. Dave's got, uh, what, 500 more coming? Must have hit a blue square. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, total of 15. Chance for a thousand. Be right back. Come on over here. And now back to Scrapple and Chuck Lorre. Hey, so yeah, this is, uh, I just noticed when I came up here, I didn't pay any attention to this. This is really strange. Uh, both these gentlemen are named Willis. There's Chuck and David Willis. I don't know what the odds are for that happening. You're not related, is that correct? No. Nope. Nope. No, you jumped on that like you were nervous. I don't know how to believe you. <laughs> well, Bruce Willis will be here tomorrow. We'll just fill out the whole thing and have a trio. Anyway, Chuck's got $3,000. He established a time of 45.6. David's got $1,500. They're going for $1,000 and a chance of that bonus for $6,000. Play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No stoppers in any of these words, David. Good. Good luck. Thank you. First word, five letters. A baby doctor. A baby doctor. Ready? Ready. Go. E. F. Two. That's correct. The second word has seven letters. Copperhead. I'm sorry? Copperhead. Copperhead. Seven letters. Ready? Ready. Go. P. N. S. Copperhead. E. I. Penny. That's correct. Third word has eight letters. It can mean trouble. It can mean trouble. Ready? Ready. Go. T. I. A. It can mean trouble. M. L. Calamity. That's correct. You just made it, too. 24 point three is the last word. Nine letters. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Bankers sometimes approve of them. Ready? Ready. Go. O. R. R. Bankers sometimes approve of R. them. R. S. W. B. Borrowers. 12.2 seconds later. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. You've been seeing what happened. You've been very nervous. He hit two of these. He tried for mortgages, which was right on the track, yeah. and then he tried for something else, home loans, I think, or something mm -hmm. like that. He was right on the money and just didn't make it every time. Chuck, thanks so much for being on the show. <laughs> we had a great time with you. $3,000 now slavery. David Willis is up to $2,500. He's going to get the chance of $6,000 right after this. This bonus is worth $6,000 today. Of course, we have two words, uh, David. And uh, put 10 seconds on the clock. You have to answer the two words before the 10 seconds is up or okay. before the clock hits zero. That's basically what it is. Great. Good luck to you. Thank you. The first word is six letters. has six letters. Pay close attention. Only one is faithful. Only one is faithful. Ready? Ready. Go. G. E. Only one is faithful. E. Y. Geyser. There you go. Geyser. You're a little behind. 3.3 yeah. seconds left. Okay. Boy, you just, I mean, this might be kind of strange, but you might get this one. Seven letters. You have 3.3 seconds. Think of how many letters you can, you can post. After that, you're in trouble. You know that. Yeah. 
Seven letters. They smoke in public. They smoke in public. Ready? Ready. Go. I. D. Diesel. You got it. Yeah. Oh. Chuck Willary's wardrobe is furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Willary, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tunis speaking. Scrabble is a Red Gluttony production.